$26 million. That is how much Ector County is spending on a new juvenile justice center. This week, commissioners approved the contract with the architecture firm responsible for designing it. Now is when the work starts. News West 9's Rachel Rip spoke with Ector County Juvenile Services Director today. Rachel, why is this new center needed so badly? Tatum, the main reason it's old. 47 years old to be exact and the people who work inside this building say the layout is a hodgepodge. It doesn't make sense. So the director says it's finally time for something new. Kids that are detained with meeting with kids in a free, which isn't safe and it isn't secure. When a kid's banging his wall, screaming, acting out, that sound carries into probation. Right now, the Ector County Youth Center, our juvenile justice center, isn't cutting it. Our current facility is 47 years old and basically just doesn't meet the needs of the department anymore. So a lot has changed in 47 years. When the building was first constructed, it was in the 1970s, and your offender in the 70s is a lot different from your offender today. Kevin Mann, the center director, says offenses have gotten a whole lot more serious, meaning higher risk and higher needs. We've seen felonies increase by over 70% in the last five years. He thinks it's because these kids are left unattended and being peer pressured into bad behavior. They'll start kicking their doors and they'll start pushing this block out and then it's knocked the block out down here as well. Tear the light off the wall or even tear the vents out of the ceiling. A new center will have more room for the 40 plus officers and over 160 juveniles receiving services. The new facility will, will have a pod system and so it'll be able to provide more direct care. And again, it just gives more room for programming. And this starts uh, up front, even with probation offices, more probation offices, uh, uh, better room for visitation with families. For example, right now their dining room is also where they learn. Their activity center overlaps with processing. Attending to this now will hopefully translate to less crime in the future. If we keep them in the shallow end and begin to provide services now, keep them in the shallow end of the justice system that keeps them from uh, offending as adults and, and costing taxpayers more dollars. The juvenile services director here tells me the design process will probably take the rest of this year and he hopes that construction can start beginning of next year with this project finally being finished in the next few years. Reporting live in Hector County, Rachel Ripp, News West 9.